it's pretty hard to run through the woods with a chainsaw, especially when you're wearing high heels. What made it worse was that uh, it was night and I was wearing a mask and I could barely see out of the mask. One night I fell, my feet went out from under me, I landed on my back and I pitched the saw up into the darkness. I uh, looked for the saw but couldn't see it so I just rolled over and covered up my head and it landed beside me still running. Of course we were filming a movie. This was the Texas Chainsaw Massacre uh, which we were filming the summer of 1973. I played Leatherface, who was the killer of the movie and who eventually would be quite well known for his chainsaw shenanigans. I don't know if any of us really knew what we had when the movie was finished. We all had hoped for it, but there just wasn't any way to know until we saw the finished film. The, the critics hated Chainsaw when it came out. Uh, one reviewer called it a vile little piece of sick crap with literally nothing to recommend it, which was my favorite review. Audiences, on the other hand, just loved the movie. They flocked to the theater, they came and watched it, and then they came back and they brought their friends. It's bigger than it ever was, and critics have really changed their minds about it. It's now in the Museum of Modern Art's collection. It's been screened at the Cannes Film Festival. Some critics have said that it is the most influential horror film of the last 40 years. And one film magazine said it was the greatest horror film ever made.